What's up everybody? It's Shields, Carolina Custom Homes of Burlington. I'm out in the field today. I'm gonna be taking you through another Sparta One. Again, this is a one level ranch. Um, this one's bigger, but typically this is around the 1825 square footage. Um, like I said, you can shrink them, you can stretch them, which I'll get into in a minute. Um, this customer did a little bit of stretching. Um, I'll explain later. Like I've said in other videos, this is a site-built front porch. This is a popular style front porch. I call this just an open crow foot. Um, this is a six by 30 front porch, um, standing on piers, not a full foundation, which you have seen in other videos as well. Note the white vertical siding that you've seen. It's always an option. Uh, I've said it before, black gutters and downspouts are the same price as white, so if that's what you like, go for it. Now this customer did their own shutters and some form of corbel that is right under the soffit up there. Um, they brought these in on their own. Uh, I'm gonna get a little closer, get some better lighting. Going for that farmhouse feel, you know, white vertical black gutters and downspouts you'll notice a uh two a, a two stall carport here or garage sorry um we did not build that but i've had customers in the past have us include allowances in their price for them to pay for their buildings um within their loan so i'll cut you know my boss will cut them a check out of their loan out of their price and they can hire whoever they want to build it. Um, here's another look at the front porch. One thing I would note is this is a 512 roof pitch nationwide, which is the builder of this home no longer offers 512s. Um, a 712 would be the minimum with them. Um, and then HBS, um, the preferred series, which believe it or not, um, I have not done a video of yet, um, but I will be getting into those. They still do the 512 and you can always upgrade to a 712 if you'd like. So I'm going around the side. We're on the gable ends now. Vertical all the way around. Another thing I realized today is I have no videos yet of back decks, porches, etc. They are coming. Um, this customer already has flagged off what their future deck's going to be. They're doing it on them um, by themselves. But as you can imagine, we have built a little bit of everything over the years. I would say go to our Facebook to see more examples of covered porches, decks, sunrooms, um you name it um and i have not done a garage yet believe it or not uh, we build a lot of garages and i have not put one on youtube yet but again if you go to the facebook page um you'll see a lot of garages carports etc hot out here all right So Sparta one, this is more traditional than the last video I did. This is just um, pretty much the standard layout plus a few changes. Um, so what I'm gonna focus on today, and I know it's gonna be hard to see and feel in the video, but this customer stretched this back module. So what I mean is they took this back wall across the entire home even in that master bedroom, even in the spare bedroom and the utility room down there. And they stretched that wall that way. And I am not lying, you can feel it. Um, so the dining space and where I'm standing is standard. Um, that would be your standard uh, depth. They didn't do anything there, they just added space there. Um, the customer wanted to maximize her kitchen space and she did. Um, similar to our lot model, we show, or this customer did transoms above the 
uh, kitchen window, the two windows here, and a six foot um, transom over the slider there. Um, nine foot ceilings. Quick note, um, to do transoms over existing windows, you must do nine foot ceilings. Um, I can do transoms in a shower on eight foot, but not over existing windows. Same fireplace as we show in our new Sparta lot model, ship lap. You'll notice our new model has a coffered ceiling. They went with a um, just a smooth ceiling there. While I'm looking at it, a lot of people ask me, why is that not a can light like the rest of them? That is a good sign. That means there is a, there's wire embracing up there. So when you see those in our spare bedroom, don't think, uh, you know, why is there not a can light? I wish there was a can light. That means this customer is going to supply or do their own fan after the fact and put it in, you know, once they move in. Um, but let me go ahead and tell you guys, this kitchen with this stretch is, um, you can feel it. It, did, it doesn't need to be stretched, but with the stretch, I must say I'm a pretty big fan. Um, I just noticed it as far as countertop space in that area and just, just in general. Um, the post can go on a one level. If this was a Sparta Cape, it would be there regardless. Microwave nook, coffee bar area, walk-in pantry. Most of the Spartas we build do some fashion of this. You can go on Facebook and dig up some that didn't. Um, I guess the last Sparta video I did didn't have the walk-in pantry. Um, well, there it is. Um, our lot model has a walk-in pantry, uh, pantry similar to this. Um, very popular. Off of this already big kitchen. Um, this customer did flooring throughout, so you're going to see the same LVP. This is ivory oak throughout the entire home. Um, as you leave the kitchen, let me backtrack to here, two spare bedrooms, a walk-in closets, utility room, full bath here. Um, just go through here real quick. Tub shower combo. Very rare, but you can have another ceramic shower, you know, walk-in shower in the spare bathrooms um, if you'd like here's the utility room um, exterior door so this is the room that space got added to with that stretch and it is pretty big walk-in closets See, second switch on the wall, ready for the fan. No fan, but that means the wiring and bracing's up there. Yeah, these smoke detectors are getting on my nerves, but I don't have a ladder with me to fix it. You will learn very quickly, if you watch these videos enough, we sell a lot of Spartas, some fashion of them, Sparta Cape, Spartan. Some people flip it, some people change it, some people edit it, you know, 10 times. Some people do it very similar to the ways you're gonna see, but I'm gonna try to post them all just because I guarantee you every one has something that is worth seeing. Um, like I said, LVP was added to this bedroom. Um, Good size closet, shelving, or um, the uh, hangers there, 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 up there. Um, the 
big four by eight shower, transom window, rain head. I would say this shower, I mean, it is, for what you get, it is a very good price. Um, you're talking about, you know, less than $3,000 for a four by eight walk-in shower, ceramic tile, rain head faucet, or rain head shower head up above, a wand, a bench, um, and then you got a linen closet here. But yeah, it, it's, it's a good deal. Obviously it's very popular. Um, in the preferred series, which is the HBS product, you have the option to do a tub and a shower or just a big shower like this, no tub, but in these nationwide homes like your Spartas, your Laramies, your Nobles, your Spardens, um, I'm gonna sit down with you and you're gonna tell me what's important. Um, you know, like I said in the other videos, we'll spend some time talking about the front porch and designing the bathroom. Those are your two big things. The stuff out here is usually minor, you know, colors and finishes. Um, so yeah, this is the Sparta one. Um, let me go back out one more time to show you guys. So this is a, um, like I said, a six by 30 front porch with the open air, open crow foot concept. Makes it feel really big from out here. Number one thing I want you guys to remember, um, any two module home, I've said it a hundred times, site built front porch. Do not judge the pictures on our websites or the, the homes on our website just on the picture that's on the website. Go on the Facebook, click on the album, read what house it is, um, and we'll figure out the front. Um, but anyways, Sparta one, I'd say 17, 1800 square foot, plus or minus. Um, open concept, biggest kitchen. We have it on our lot. Shields with Carolina Custom Homes is me. 336 226 9066 is the number. Um, like and subscribe my videos. If you have any input, please comment it. I will help you out, answer your questions. Um, until next time, guys, take care.